With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hi everyone, let's take a question. So here the question is write down the bond line structure of the following. So here we have is 3 methyl 2 butanol. Okay. So here the bond line means we have this, this representation. Okay. So bond line will be like this. Okay. In that way, it doesn't show the carbon and hydrogens. We will just show the substituents that are attached. Okay. So here we have the methyl means CH3 group. And ol is the suffix for the OH group, right? And here it is given butane. Butane means we have the four carbons which are attached to each other by the single bond, okay? Because here we have is in which tells us that we have the single bond, okay? Here just the E is removed according to the IUPAC rules when we add the suffix that is ol, okay? So in this, first we will draw the representation like this so we can have this structure. So we have one. 2, 3 and 4. Okay, so this is 1, 2, 3 and 4. Okay, so these are connected to each other by single bond. At the second position, we have is OH group. At the third position, we have is CH3 group. Okay, so here we will complete the bonds of carbon. As we know, carbon acquires 4 bonds. Okay, so here we will have CH3. Here we have CH. Here we have CH. And here we have is CH3. Okay, so if we draw the structure for this, so here the structure is like this. Here we have 1, 2, 3 and 4. Okay, it is 1, 2, 3 and 4. At the third position, methyl group just like this represents to OH. Okay, so this is the bond line structure for the given compound and this is our answer. This is our answer. Okay, this is the bond line structure required for the given compound thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today